Hi everybody, uh, this is Jason speaking, Dr. Jason Remy Plancine. Uh, today's topic is hepatitis C virus. Now keep in mind that this is part two, all right? If you haven't seen part one, um, I suggest you to double check the description section below this recording. You're gonna find the link of part one, part two, and eventually part three of this topic, hepatitis C virus, all right? Now, um, let's get down to the topic, okay? Screening and diagnosis. Due to the fact that acute hepatitis C virus infection is usually asymptomatic, few people are diagnosed during the acute phase. In those people who go on to develop chronic hepatitis C virus infection, the infection is also often undiagnosed because the infection remains asymptomatic until decades after infection when symptoms develop secondary to serious liver damage. Hepatitis C virus infection is diagnosed in two steps. First, screening for anti-hepatitis C virus antibodies with a serological test identifies people who have been infected with the virus. Two, if the test is positive for anti-hepatitis C virus antibodies, a nucleic acid test for hepatitis C virus ribonucleic acid RNA is needed to confirm the chronic infection. Now, about 30% of people infected with hepatitis C virus spontaneously clear the infection by a strong immune response without the need for treatment. Although they are no longer infected, they will still test positive for anti-hepatitis C virus antibodies. Now, after a person has been diagnosed with chronic hepatitis C virus infection, they should have an assessment of the degree of liver damage, fibrosis or cirrhosis. Uh, I'm sorry, fibrosis and cirrhosis. Now, this can be done by liver bi biopsy or through a very variety of non-invasive tests. In addition, these people should have a laboratory test to identify the genotype of hepatitis C strain. There are six genotypes of hepatitis C virus and they respond differently to treatment. Early diagnosis can prevent health problems that may result from infection and prevent transmission of the virus. The World Health Organization recommends screening for people who may be at increased risk of infection. These are people who use intranasal drugs, people who inject drugs, children born to mothers infected with hepatitis C virus, otherwise known as vertical transmission, recipients of infected blood products, or invasive procedures in healthcare facilities with inadequate infection control practices. Also people who have had tattoos or piercing, people with sexual partners who are hepatitis C virus infected, prisoners or previously incarcerated persons, people with HIV infection. Now keep in mind that about 2.3 million people of the estimated 36.7 million living with HIV globally have serological evidence of past or present hepatitis C virus infection. Conversely, among all HIV infected persons, the prevalence of anti-hepatitis C virus was 6.2%. Now guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading medical topics on a regular basis. Uh, give me the thumbs up if you like that presentation, okay? Now on the left, you should uh, have access to um, further other videos, medical, um, medical topics, all right, presentations that I have uploaded on this channel, all right? And on the right side, you should find uh, an icon. This is where you can, you can uh, subscribe to my channel, all right? Now again, thank you very much for watching. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, guys, help me raise awareness. This is the purpose of my channel to raise awareness. A lot of people are not familiar with medical topics, okay? So by sharing 
by sharing this uh, presentation with friends and family members, uh, you're helping me and you're helping yourself um, by keeping your community safe. People that watch this recording, for example, hepatitis C virus, um, now they know about it, they know how to avoid it, they know how it is transmitted, and they know by this presentation that in most, of the, in most cases, it's asymptomatic. So this is the importance of getting tested, all right? And you see it's transmitted sexually, it's transmitted through the use of drugs and also to, um, through blood products. All right, so keep your community safe, guys. Share this recording with others and um, have a great day.